Hey everyone, welcome to Paper Mario The Origami King episode 19. Uh, this is nowhere near where we left off last time. We went to this different hotel. I've been trying to save you time just because I didn't want episode 12 to happen again, where we keep on looking for something for like a while and it takes a lot of time. However, I found this. Now, I did get a thousand coins. This Nifik commented why there wasn't any good, why he couldn't have done that before. I found that pretty funny. I'm sorry to ruin your groove, Nifik, but I'm afraid you have something that might be worth. Oh man, what in my way? Eh, found something was played anyway. I'm going back to my room and invite Chug Surfing. Surfing isn't as fun when you're the bird, right? Well, it's all time and free. Feel free to pursue a lot if but no one can take advantage of me again. I think here for conference and investigate. Think about the pyramids in the area. Ah, uh, but don't want to hear about the scene. It takes a home of my gratitude. Oh yes, thank you! That's a ten! We're making serious progress. Alright, that is good. Thank you so much, friend. Poor guy. There's nothing sick around here. Okay, good here. We're looking for a wall of waves. So I assume that maybe if we go in the hotel, we might get lucky. Oh, hello there. Piston skating. I want to see if there's anything in here. If any of these happen to have any waves on the wall, I might come use. Okay, this actually might be useful. I'm sorry to hear that, my friend. Okay, besides that, we shouldn't let that get in our path. Loot? Give me an exclusive merch. Oh, a rain trainer. Cool. You seem happy. No tub for tub thurping. Well, this is pretty fun. Alright, well, not bad after all. Well, okay. No waves, but we at least get got some hints here. I don't think he knows anything. Nah, I didn't think so. That's the professor's room. And let's see what's in here. Okay, not much. Hmm. Okay, pretty laid back. So we're going to be roommates, eh? I'm a bit of a loud studio. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Alright. We might need those notes for later. I think it's good to pick all of them up for now, even if showing them aloud was brief. I want to check here one more time. Make sure nothing here is wave related. Oh, hidden block. I also got a hidden block detector, I should mention. Which is coming to many utilities. For stuff I'm not aware about. Those invisible blocks. You know, the ones that people use in Super Mario Maker to cheese levels. That's what they're. That's one way of using them. Although it's not really preferred. Okay, I guess I shouldn't have expected to see a wall of waves here. I do not want to look anything up because I want to have the satisfaction of discovering it myself. I assumed that Sniff City would have a wall of waves I'm looking for. 
Here's Lovey's hand. I think I may have been wrong to say that, though. Now she's suggesting we should explore the Lanky Towers more. Let's go a little deeper in the city. Alright, okay, she's saying the same thing. Before she was talking about the wall of waves. The second one is what we're going for. Near wall of waves, a fire's place. An eye is there, by earth encased. So, I was trying to look around Sniff City to see if I could find it. But I don't think this happens to be the case. A Sniffeth who would never fly in a seesaw. That's the hymn over there, Aura, for sure. I have no idea how to get that confetti back there. I might have to wait it out. Welcome to Shroom City. Okay. Maybe it was a little bit foolish for me to think that the wild waves would be relatively distant. It could be nearby. Maybe. But we're not going to bring it over the bush for too long. I'm going to temporarily abort looking for the wild waves and see if we can come across it. We know it's not in Sniff City since I checked all the houses out seen. None of them seem to have it. Okay, we won't dig up the treasure now, right now. It shouldn't have much use. Let's see what's up here. I do want to place the jewel in. And now trigger a fire. Last time we did get the phoenix. So Livy will transform into her right now. And we'll be able to light things up. Should be cool. Prepare to be folded. I need a comfortable bro late, my headphones are wearing. Rest aside though. Stoked on fire for sure. Well, Olivia, you burned up. Amazing. They didn't mean to school. And I minor minored in, re in generative molation. Molation. It did. Yep, it does. The jewel will now shoot a laser. Okay, so in the end it didn't matter which order I looked thing then. We already got that one, which was just a pure coincidence I dug in the spot it was hidden under. Do you want to see Olivia's hint? The ancient mention about walls of waves is so strange. Could it be a wall with waves on it? I'd ask for someone for help, but I rarely get comments. That is sad truth, I must admit. Could be in the vast sandpaper desert, although I don't think it's going to be there. There's the pyramid. 
Okay, let's go for the West Tower. I love how Olivia asked if the professor is quiet and studying, when before he stated he's a loud studier. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah, I may want to skip the performance. Let's just get to the point. Can you even feel the origami crow or er, in the foreground? That is an interesting detail. Okay. We got those out of the way. And he even fell asleep. Or he fell over. Okay. With that all aside, I suppose we now... With the three lasers out of the way, we go for the... We look for the wall of waves again. So we may end up having the episode 12 issue again. I'm very sorry in advance. I could look it up, but would ruin the satisfaction of discovering of actually reaching it. So now you will hear me commenting on my eternal search in an attempt to find this wall of waves. I am going to check here. I'm just going to check everywhere. Because, for one thing, I'll say this, I've said this before, I should not have to leave the region in order to find this. Although, I, they might try being clever with me. I do want to check the tunnel. Oh. Never mind. We'll just continue. All the ways. I don't think it could be here. I mean, it is possible. Shining ass power, that's cool. Nope, I stand corrected. Nothing in here. Don't think they think that the professor can read or write. So. Yeah, I don't think we can progress here. There's no wall of waves here. Any other hints? They say wall of waves with waves drawn it. This will say something about fire. I mean, I don't think they would steer us in the wrong direction. But... I haven't seen any walls of waves. I mean, and I am exploring every 
region in here. So I would expect us to have run into this by now. We already explored the eastern section, I believe. Let's just check it again. I mean, this could be the wall of waves. Wait, wall of waves! I think I see it. Hieroglyphics, of course. And then the fire got burned out. I think this is it. Yes! I see, I'm glad I didn't look it up. That, that felt so amazing discovering it. But that's why, why, if you feel ever feel stuck on something, just keep on trying, you'll eventually get it. When you finally discover it, you get that great feeling. Of progression. And we actually didn't go that far in the video. We're only 16 minutes and 17 seconds in. This means we'll be able to explore the ruins more. Woohoo. Our first one is safe. This is the last of the lasers, so something big might happen. Maybe. in place, we can finally finish off the, the shrine and what's buried underground will finally emerge up. This is exciting. Ah, I get it. Olivia must use her cheerleading power. We should have known all along. <laughs> After he says that, Mario and Toad fall down. 10 out of 10. It's like, wait, I'm floating. I cannot fall. Oh wait, we don't. Let's fall. Alright, that's the last of them. Now we can finally go into that pyramid. Wrong. All right, here we go. It's time for another part to take and play. Ah, Professor, this is where the L streamer seems to end. We know it gets deeper, but we can't take down, so we need to reach the spool and disconnect it. Very well, allow me to translate the ancient encryption. In Dr. Sneems and Dr. Chin and in tubes, the full shrooms. Oh no, doesn't say anything about how to get into the sand. Yeah, it probably is. And they also probably turned into origami. And, yeah. Okay, stop talking, let's just get into cheerleading mode. Very well. 
Aw, oh, man, I was hoping I'd see some cheerleading efforts. It's okay. This still works. All right. We did it. The yellow streamer is in our grasp. Goodness, this must be the Temple of Shrooms itself. So this is what I meant by desert. Okay. It all seems that the yellow streamer is blocking the entrance in the top. So I'm guessing that maybe an ancient one is top is stuck in the roof. I mean, it's just an assumption. Alright. Let's go inside. It's quite empty in here. Is this like an escape room? I love escape rooms. And yes, it seems that this may be our final resting place of the ancient King Shroomsies. Okay. When someone out, their temple retreated into the earth for safekeeping. Yeah, okay, good point. What would a pyramid be? Ah, oh, they're just skull they're just skull bugs. They're and folded soldiers. They're not that they're, they're not actual spiders. Unless spiders don't exist in this world. Okay, nothing else in here. Good. That's what I like. Oh. Well, here we go. I should have seen this coming. And I'm ashamed I didn't. Okay, this is actually a new kind of puzzle. And it's making me kind of questioning my life choices to how I've done on these before. Do some cheer. Monto, help your old man out. Okay, now I feel stupid. That worked. Thank you. You know what? I want to get some cash out of these boys. If we have a chance to no damage them, I'll take it. So skull bugs do like living here, and they are folded soldiers, but besides that, we're doing pretty decent. Just can't do anything stupid, we'll live. Okay, that didn't work. I definitely know there's staircase to get up there. It's kind of obvious. Perhaps activating the first level will do the trick. I believe I made him block the lawn, so anything that's not being shown should be shown. Yeah, it's probably helping people. Left side is more useful. Well, it's a shame we can't read it. Ah, dead end. Where is it? In archaeology, no one ever knows. Yeah, there's probably some way to get around here. It's not here. Well, let's check our other options. There are the sand pits. Oh wait, we could use Professor Toad. Aha! Well, well, well. Look what we have here. Alright, come on, shell controls. 
They can sometimes be difficult. Don't mind them. Maybe the girl controller would be easier in this game. It's too bad I don't gotta have one. That was a that that's a different story. Don't worry about it. What do you have for us? Oh, this one is very complex. The grammar of an, of an ancient type you afraid to write in. Goodness, even in the Intero banks have some been versed. We'll take the time, I'm afraid. Yep. Just a fun fact, language is evolved. Even in this game. This guy really has been working hard then. <laughs> well, nobody cared anyway. Can you keep that racket down? Well, I'm crazy thing. Uh, where was I? Well, when that happened? To be honest, I could spend a few more hours on the left side of the text, but I suppose the time isn't right. Yeah, the text doesn't matter. It probably was going to say that two men had a stand. Well, it's quite dark here, even for an ancient temple. The scholar of scientists, I don't believe in ghosts or similar nonsense, but I do like this feeling. Oh, thank goodness. Something about- SHOW YOURSELF, GHOUL! <laughs> it was an own shower. Oh, this isn't good. <laughs> wow. Okay, now tell me you saw that. It was just a strange owl. Can't tell me it was just my imagination. It looked like the toad with- Out its face. And it probably is. Okay, so they don't just fall toads. They can do whatever they want to them. How dare you slap me! <laughs> yeah, show me respect! That's something? Yeah, they're toads. And you want to be rude to me? Okay, thought so. Good. Let's hit the save block. Don't worry, we're not finishing it off yet. Let's just take a look what's in here. We have a lot of interesting places. Well, so much for being in this game. Wait, lover. Oh, we're trapped. It's a paper- it's two paper macho goombas. Hello there. <coughs> Whoa, I'm mummified. Well, at least this needs more confetti. Well, besides the paper pokey fight, I mean the giant macho pokey fight, it's actually the first time Project Toad's seen in paper machos. I have no idea what's happening. Why am I pulling these guys so badly? Oh, I just realized. If a paper macho isn't glowing, then they're easy to kill. Yeah. Sometimes people get scared. It's a fact. Even if it's can't even if it's about something that's not real. Isn't that hilarious when people make things up just to scare others? Maybe. Look at all them. Oh curious, who could possibly be attracting the attention of those many spiders? The pair of twitching toes feet. Mother the spiders. Alright, let's question. Oh, you poor thing. Are you alright? <clears throat> nope! Is this Toad alright? You think it looks dumber from here. <laughs> toad, did something happen to your face? Toad's face is gone! Toad's face is gone, Toad's face is gone, Toad's face is gone. Oh, Toad's face is not there. Oh, hope it doesn't hurt. I just think this is trying to talk to us. Toad, can you hear me? Do you still have ears somewhere in your head? 
Or can we call it, wish it a hat? Anyway, say something. Oh, I guess no face means no mouth. Oh, who would do this to poor toe for a reason? Yes. Oh, that's a tri-course. Personal intern, intern meant number. Okay. Wait, said one, four, two, three. So I think this is the amount of triforces that are shown here. I do like the Legend of Zelda reference. Do we get a treasure? Please tell me it's a treasure. More traps! Wonderful! Just mind my way downtown. Nothing... More faceless toads. Okay, I did get startled there. I was just so startled I didn't say anything. But yeah. They just don't have faces. Just accept that. What's wrong? What's with all that? Yeah, that is very weird. I'm not gonna just not an archaeologist. It seems to be a massive bioweb. Which means there must be a massive, massive skull bug nearby. Can you stop slapping me? Alright. We are running a little long, confetti. I am appreciative of the repair, though. Wait, Val. We haven't had one in a while. Okay. Alright, it's time to play then, huh? Oh, forget this. I'm doing the full chair. Thanks for doing my work for me. Toad's help, I do lose some money. But that's okay. At least the enemies are gone. Anything else here? Just a heart. Oh, what's this? I got... Hmm. Maybe we can turn it into the snippet back at the... the city. Interesting. Can't blame the toes for walking like that. They can't see where they are. Wonder what that button does. Or maybe that button is a dud. A star lights your way. Great, I'm not that good at consolations. 
maybe there's a better way of showing. Hang up, Olivia. I'm not that good with constellations. Oh, just a star shape? Okay. Do it in limited amount of time. There we go. Who knew? Okay. Oh, that was just a reset button. Ah, more black soldiers? Come on. Stop slapping me! Hold it! We gotta frisk ya. Hey, it's a job. Wait, they're black shy guys. I recall, neither build the enemies from the color splash. They won't die in normal attacks, will they? No, it's no use trying to mess these guys up. Hmm, this is interesting. I haven't seen this attack pattern before. I mean, these definitely have to be slid. I don't get it. It's time to cheer. Alright, that helps. I just hope they don't vanish. Best of luck. Oh, thank goodness they didn't. Oh, it's great these boys look like the same Shy Guys in Color Splash. Okay, good, they'd be impossible to beat. Since the things don't are the bosses in this game. So you don't use them as weapons. Alright. 450 coin. My fine gold hammer you had there. Thank you. I gotta be impressed. They reacted to my Oh. What's going on here? It's a disco party. Well, this is fun. I don't know what happened. My head suddenly started shaking themselves. I'm not for words. This is unlike anything I've ever seen. Study of antiques. And the crown jewel is simply in the center of the ceiling. Yeah, it is. Yeah, the boss will be up ahead. Hey, DJ! You call that music? I call it a racket. Stop scratching around and I put something I can dance to. If I ain't moving into the groove when Neil dropped, I'm gonna collect your face for a, like a limited edition seven inch single. Yo, yo, don't do that. I'll cue up something groovy. Quickness, my man. All right, you guys saved me. This guy is such a weirdo. He keeps asking for groovy music to cut a rug too. Do I look like I'm 100 years old? I'm a DJ, man. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> my face is at stake here, y'all. My face! You gotta help. No, not your face. That's why you put your sunglasses. Anyway, what's wrong with the song they're playing? I didn't think it was quite groovy. <laughs> I don't know. The guy's taste in music makes no sense to me. But he is very opinionated. Wouldn't like any of the music I put on. And he won't come out of that room. <laughs> anyway, here's how something can help. I dropped some down discs on my way here. Maybe one of the just will tune the guy I actually like. There are four of them, huh? Well, 
Okay, we have a new clock that we can adjust to ourselves next time. I first wanna, oh my. Flip those holes. And it seems like we'll be having a boss fight next time. I'll see you around.